Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we're going to play Ragavan Nimble Pilfer in Historic Brawl. You standard fans, don't turn it off quite yet. There are videos coming out on the CoolStuffInc.com YouTube channel, and then the next day on the Magic the Gathering Arena official YouTube channel that feature me playing standard for, you know, typical video, typical standard video stuff, if that's what you're looking for. But I'm playing Ragavan today before it gets banned, because it's legal in Historic Brawl. This can be your commander this mythic monkey was introduced with the masterpiece that multiverse legends that's what it is the multiverse legends with march of the machine and uh, i'm playing a version i call ragablade because i'm going to run a whole bunch of swords and i'm going to try to get value yes you can build ragavan in such a way that you just play a whole bunch of burn spells and a whole bunch of aggressive cards and you win games Wow, you did it, mono red, cool. Or you can play Ragavan in kind of a fun, like get value way where you get a ton of treasures and you cast your opponent's spells and you just never run out of things to do. Now that sounds a little bit more like me, CGB. So that's what we're going to do today. And most of the card choices in here are a nod towards clearing the way for Ragavan. We've got a lot of removal. And then we also just have a lot of things that gain value. Even cards like Maze Mind Tome, where, yeah, Maze Mind Tome, Bank Buster, and Tome of Legends make it into this deck because I'm not trying to play the fastest possible red deck. I'm trying to play something closer to like a Koth Fire of Resistance type build, but with an awesome one drop in every game. And Ragavan is so nuts that it absolutely carries this stuff. It's also worth noting that if you play Ragavan, you're going to get a lot of mirror matches. So it's important to have a lot of removal. So. That's all I'm going to say going into it, because I've never actually hit somebody with Ragavan before uh, on Arena and only in like a game of Commander or something until the Loading Ready Run pre pre release, which is also a video on the channel LR. RRMTG and it in limited it was pretty busted but I did survive a hit when somebody went turn one Ragavan and hit me so you know I know it's a great card but does it need to be banned I think everybody's got their eye on this little monkey is it going to last in historic brawl we're going to try to come to a conclusion on that today so let's dive in let the monkey business begin we go first with a sweet hand keep I think we've got the precious two tracks of music going think so. See if you can hear it. Let me know if you can hear it. Monkey. Hello. I'm mono red, so I can do this. And yeah, I'm just running out the steamkin. Just in case I had a removal spell, maybe the steamkin would draw it. But we get a treasure. Oh, you hear it now, don't you? Good old double music track glitch. Not the bolt. What do we do? What do we do? Do we give him the Lelia? I think we do. Just run him down. Okay, Mountain in Exile. We go to a 3-3. Three, three. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. What you gonna do for three mana? Koth is on the horizon. Urza's Rage. Yep. Resolves. Good card to go with Koth. Koth tends to have a lot of lands. Alright. Ragavan dash. Dash. Keep it coming. Down to 13. Alright. I think that they might kill the Steamkin here. But then Bone Crusher Giant can kill the Koth. What you got? What you got for this Steamkin? Would love for them to do something besides Koth. Like try to target it for three and then we just play an instant. Yeah, there's the targeting. So this is dealing four, so we can't save it. Um, We could make some mana, but we can't use it. Let's just go for... Let's just go for the Lightning Bolt here. That way we save with some treasure. But the Steamkin's down. Ooh, the kite sail. All right, dash. Keep it coming, buddy. Keep it coming. Ooh, Sweltering Suns. Not really a card I want to cast here. Do we chill? Yeah, let's just end the turn and undash. 
Opponent's still with plenty of cards, so I'm sure they can kill the monkey if we leave it on the battlefield. Cavalier of Flame, huh? Five toughness is a lot. Let's see what they discard. Strangle Fumeral will do it. Strangle Bone Crusher will do it. That's three. The other three could be Ragavan and Kite Sail. And maybe we get a card from the opponent that helps. Fumeral also remakes some colorless mana that we can use one, two of. Just trying to decide whether or not to go face here. I think we do. Mm, no, let's be patient. There's a land. Dash. Fly. Yeah, you gotta get that monkey through, baby. Strike it rich, huh? If we use it, it goes to the opponent's graveyard, but we go up a treasure. But then are we just using that treasure right away? I think we are. All right, stumps. Strangles. Take one for the lands in the graveyard and the turn and for Ragavans. Just keep picking at them. Come on, Koth, come out and play. Didn't expect that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, hello. Interesting. So let's go with here. There's some mana. Go here. Here. I know, it's caught. This is so cool. Go get one of these. Cast this, cast this. Pass. Let's see if we can alt a cough before the cough player. Although they still have a ton of cards in hand. Only nine life though. Big Chandra, what do you do? Kill the Bone Crusher, sure. One mana open, could kill Ragavan. Crow in War doesn't hit anything. It's not good. I'll never forget the hole we lost. Mountain. Dash. Let's go a little, buddy. Face? I think we need the value. I think I do. Down to seven. Mountain. Mountain. All right. Back to hand. Opponent on task with two planeswalkers. We have a Koth on eight. Another mountain. Eight mana now for the opponent. That's got to do something. An emblem for me. Or is it getting a little warm in here? We've got to stop the Koth, right? I mean, I guess I don't have that many a billion mountains in my deck. Okay, Fury. Target Koth. Can you do another four? Stop! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Take one. Opponent refusing to give me any targets for this Akron War. We go face. Come on, where's the card? Fight with fire. Am I one short? I've got eight, I don't have nine. Oh my god. I really came up one short. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. We continue. All that in a land short or a treasure short? Crazy. Two emblems. No Come on, play a creature. Elder Dragon War doing what? Make a 4-4 four, four maybe for me? Okay. A creature has been acquired. Another mountain will be acquired. Lost. 
Let's see if we draw a good card. I know, the one mana could have mattered last turn. There's no way that happens again, right? No way. Burning hands. <laughs> Any green? Page and green permanents? All right. Hand over that dragon. Dash. Come on. Come on. Opponent says, good game. I know they could ultimate here. I'm kind of here for it. Oh, baby. That I can cast. Three life. Ult the Koth. See if you can get out of this. I mean, they have the Chandra too. So they can kill the Inferno and they can kill the dragon with a land drop. They're doing it. Zap. Yep. Land. Zap. Yep. Their hand must have a lot of land in it, though, still. It's the only way that explains kind of how this Ragavan keeps hitting them. Or just a lot of sorceries. They're passing. Owie, owie. Another land? Unreal. We dash. We go to combat. We go face. Always the place. Down to one. We exile another land. I'm losing it. All right, kill this Chandra. I'll try to come back for you. Trying to think, is there a card? There might be cards in their deck that I can discard for value. That let me discard lands. And the opponent's on one. One. What is this game? The flood is so real on both sides now. Of course, Koth just draws lands. Makes sense. And I had a Koth. Didn't last as long as theirs. Five cards in hand. What do they do? Are they all sorcery speed removal? Two different tracks of music can't contain this action. Mishra's Command. What? They just dealt two damage to their own Koth to use a Mishra's Command to draw two cards. Madness. Kindling. Goes face. All right. That's another land. Are you kidding me? We dash. Get a monkey. <laughs> oh, sorcery speed removal. What? What are they thinking? <laughs> On the draw against Elves, Tyvar, nasty, nasty, nasty. It's good ways to pressure Tyvar, but I don't know if we can deal with all the Elves with this hand. It would be nice to mulligan for a Sweeper. I just think that's too aggressive. So we'll keep it. No Lanoir Elf, please. All right, one mana, nothing, monkey. Go monkey, go. Zap the thing out of the way, hit for two. Easy. Never mind. It's too strong. Uh, in that case, we will drop the Mind Stone and consider conceding. <laughs> Hopefully the Warcrafting blows this thing up if they play Tyvar here and go to a five toughness feeling strong. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, could also kill the Tyvar, but I don't think that's very good. How to do it. So this is only when it hits a player. This goes off at seven. Also makes everything very large, but right now we're drawing pretty good to deal. So zap. Go ahead, Tamio's safekeeping. It does say that the thing loses indestructible. Base. Incubation Druid, seems good. Let's go. Mana will be important for keeping up with this. Just kill all the elves and don't let Tyvar ultimate and we will be fine. Perfect. Do you make the perfect large? Uh, nope. Okay, so they have a 1-1. One, one. Obnoxiously useful. 
Let's go with a blast on the perfect. And now a warcrafting on the one one. So we get these three cards. We can play a land and then we want something cheap. Uh, this seems really good to me. Hit. Scoop. <laughs> I mean, is this a red deck? Is this level of stupid value a red deck? Because I could easily mistake it for a blue deck or a green deck. Our opponent claims to be awesome and is also running Ragavan. We are on the play, so we're doing it right. We will keep, we will play our Ragavan and hope for the best. We have three ways to kill the opposing Ragavan. But they are probably going to mulligan for a way to kill a Ragavan. The other option that we have is just not to play Ragavan. But I think that, I think you do it like this. Because we could just dash it next turn. But, you know, if they... If we don't play Ragavan, they don't play Ragavan. We don't really dash. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> On the play Ragavan Kite Sail all day. One with two mulligans. They're digging. They're digging. Three mulligans. How do they kill a Ragavan? How do you stop a Ragavan? How do you do it? How do you do it? What do you do? That's right. Nothing. That's what you do. Submit to the power of the monkey. Blue mana, go. Love it. Um, now let's see what we get. Sinister Shabotage. Cool. But we're not doing it. We're doing this. No spell pierce. All right. Easy. Boink. Wow! I didn't know Chandra hit for 21. Unbelievable. Transmission. Cool kids, come in, cool kids. You're cool, so you can hear this. We don't have much time. Join me at. at, at. Covert Go Blue HQ. Follow the coordinates on your screen to Covert Go Blue HQ. Covert Go Blue HQ is your ultimate destination for everything CGB. Get your play mats. Get your shark tokens and get the first look at all new merchandise that CGB releases. There's even more that's on the way. Gear up with the only merch that's 100% certified by the one in best of one at the coolest place for the cool kids, CoolStuffInc.com. Head to CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB. I'll see you at Covert Go Blue HQ. That's Covert Go Blue HQ. Takes a monkey to beat a monkey. Easy keep. Mull. Keep. All right. Let's check him. It's the turn one gut check. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Is it that hard to have removal in your deck and mulligan for it? I, all these freaking greedy magic players, man. We're just destroying them. Opponent goes first, we keep. Pretty good hand. They've got Nahiri, and they've got Paladin class. Kind of interesting to go up against Nahiri with Ragavan. Didn't think that one was really going to be something I ran into. Anyway, here's a monkey. So let's see what the opponent can do. Boundary Beetle. They have put out a 2-2 first strike. It gives equipped creature first strike. Reconfigures for one. At the beginning of your upkeep, a random artifact gets this cost one less to cast. That's interesting. Well... We came prepared. We have a few ways to do it. A few ways to do it. We can't do anything on their turn. So I think we just kite sail and fly. Okay, we got mana tie. That's fun. So I want to play the Steamkin, but I'm honestly nervous about this beetle. I was trying to hit something off of their deck. Let's just take our time, make sure this beetle dies. We have to do it on our turn because of Paladin class. And we'll see how the opponent and their equipment deck handle a monkey with a kite sail. Akiri. Akiri, Akiri. Let's get in there. Get me something good. Rune of Speed. Neat card. Actually, an insanely neat card. So let's go. Actually, let's pop off a little. Steamkin. 
rune of speed on this. We enchant the kite sail so it can give anything haste and flying now. And we strangle that Akiri. Gross. This is gross. Come on. Come on, Nahiri. Make it look close. Loyal Warhound. No fetch. Sad. Cast the torch. That's too easy. Bang. The goodest dog. Sorry. Down to 12. Five mana here. Wrath of God. <laughs> he would have loved to draw that, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Very mean. Very, very mean. We have until our next turn. Can't do this on their turn. I think we just drop this now. And pass. Destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who runs the equipment around here? I got a flying monkey with a rune on it. Oh no, 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 I have to go against Yorian, not Yorian. And they are on the play and I have two six drops, but we do need power against Yorian and we have ramp. I'll try it. The sticky fingers will hopefully get us past whatever they put in the way. Here's the monkey. Let's go ahead and drop the amber. Let's go ahead and drop the fingers now. That way if they kill it, destroy it, we draw a card. Hopefully they don't exile it. Turn one swords would be a bit disappointing. Signet. Signet nothing. Cool. Swing. Treasure, treasure. Feels really good with those expensive cards in hand. Uh, Fibble Pip. The Lost. I want a card. Hopefully no Charming Prince to try to get it back. Draconic Destiny, huh? We could be airborne. All right, big four. Big turn four for the opponent. It's a channeler. Channeler will return. Ragavan. All right, hand it is. No more sticky fingers. I've got five mana. I can dash Ragavan. I can dash Ragavan and put the Draconic Destiny on it. That's not particularly great though. If I target this with a spell, it gets shuffled. Honestly, we don't have a great play. Not really. Let's try drawing a card. Sword. Don't think I want to do the sword. Let's try attacking with Fipple Thip the Lost. Be a little aggressive. Then let's play the Ragavan. See if the opponent can deal. And then maybe next turn a Chandra. Sort of once in future though, pro blue. Could be good. Was it cast from graveyards, instants, or sorceries? Yeah? Surveil two, then you may cast an instant or sorcery mana value two or less. Circle. Crafty. Crafty, that channeler's gotta go. What do you do with it though? I'd make a bird. They'd make a bird. Smart. All right, now what? Ooh. Ooh. We do that. Oh, we do this. Burn Phyrexia to ash. Use it Zap. Copy. Zap. Nice. Swing. Treasure acquired, land exiled. Chandra, Hope's Beacon. Oh, I'm feeling the hope. I definitely feel the hope right now. Unholy Heat in the Graveyard, sort of once in future in hand, so we can cast that again. Relic of Legends. Poor Yorian. I didn't mean for it to be this way. So they could have used the Arcane Signet and had an extra mana. We'll see whether or not that matters. This is so good. This is so good. Copy Reckless Impulse. No back now. 
Brittle Blast, Kindling, Kindling Solid. There's the lands. Let's move to combat. Two mana in any combination of colors could definitely come in handy. The Siphoner. So what are they going to get back? Nothing. So what? They're going to block the Ragavan? At, at this point, I think I'm okay with that. So we could either do this or we could just do this. Yeah, we'll have Kindling next turn. Let's just blast it. Get shuffled back in. Oh, we can still play Kindling. Oh, man. Wait, I can add a white? And a red? I can play an Esper Sentinel? <laughs> it's so good, dude. I'll just draw. So good. <laughs> Save all my treasures for some future disgusting turn. Get out of town, Yorian. Ugh, I feel bad just saying it. What's the matter with me? Dude, this, if they don't ban Ragavan, it's going to change the whole historic brawl meta. Monkey versus monkey, I go first. If I have the mountain, the chain whirler is a pretty good one. Let's keep. Gotta draw the mountain. Or get that treasure. I assume the opponent, also playing Ragavan, kept a hand that can remove a Ragavan. But maybe they won't have luck against Robber of the Rich. Oh-ho! Monkey to monkey! I see, I see, I see. That is not a good draw, oddly. Are they gonna block? Maybe? This is interesting because I kind of want to play Tome. I kind of want to play Robber. I want to do all of it. I think I better go for the Robber. We have stolen an Earthshaker. Our opponent is blocking monkey with monkey. No treasures were made. So they're going to fight a card advantage game with us. Interesting. Well, I can play that game. I think my deck is well set up for it. So let's play a Fable. I like my hand, too. Let's see what they play. Sword. Well, we can't let that equip. Thank God we drew an instant speed removal spell. So what's not good here? Chain Whirler just got a little worse. Warcrafting and Frostbiter. Warcrafting got quite a bit worse. Tome is actually pretty bad here, I think. Mm, no, 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 no. We can be smart with Tome. Yeah, all right. Let's get rid of the adversary. Let's get rid of the Warcrafting. No. Let's get rid of the Chain Whirler because now they can equip, so we have to kill it at instant speed. And let's get rid of the Warcrafting, and Adversary might cast the Warcrafting later. But we want to make sure we're still hitting land and that we can dash Ragavan. Gotta do it while they're tapped out. All right. Instant speed removal is so key against the sword until we find a braid or something to kill it. Here's a Felden. Here's the equip. Must stop it. Don't let it happen. I wish this only dealt two. Oh, they scooped to it, but that gets value. Their Felden was going to get value. All right, all right. I mean, I I, I'll take the win, but opponents should probably see what they find with their Felden. On the play against new Omnath, Locus of all, we got a sword. Love it. Let's go Monkey Blade. Come on out, buddy. It's time to go to battle. We'll see if the opponent has the answer. One mana. Target Ragavan. Kill it. Yep. Well played. That is what you need to do. Here's Rada, though. We'll see if they have two removal spells before the value starts to pile up. Tap land. Go. Oh, ho, ho. Exile non-land card, all right. Hit. Void rend, nothing to hit. But maybe next time, Teferi! Hi, buddy. What you up to? 
Do we play the Ragavan? I think we want to dash it and get it to our hand. I think we need to be safe here. Maybe I just play the Chain Whirler and Pressure, but I think they'll find a way to kill this. Yeah, let's play Tome and draw. We want to hit our next land drop pretty bad so Ragavan can come down and hit. Because I think they'll kill Rada. They haven't scooped yet. Dreadhorde Arcanist? A creature? It's interesting. Well, we have a Void Rend, right? Whenever we attack with this, you may cast that card and spend mana as though or any color. Ooh, but are we going to miss land? I really would love to play this Fable. All right, let's attack and see what happens. Maybe they block. Nope. They want that unholy heat. Uh, <laughs> disciplinary mascot. There's a battlefield look at the top four. Put one of them in your hand and the rest on the bottom. It's an interesting card. One, three. I, I mean, this is not great, but I think it's the play. Don't give them that unholy heat. The value is good, but we're not hitting land. So we could still fall behind here. Omneth, Omneth is a card. I mean, if we were hitting lands, that Teferi would be on the menu next turn, and that would be amazing. Opponent passes. There's the land. Don't want to dash out Ragavan into removal. They let us activate the memory lapse. They've got to do something this turn, right? All right, well, I'm going to hold up the memory lapse then. And I'll play the Magda? Something that makes some mana? Ionize. Uh, memory lapse. Seems good. So they have counters in their Omnath deck. Oh, I guess they didn't want to draw that card again. <laughs> they scooped it up there. Nasty. I mean, basically, um, Ragavan 2 is Rahilda, one and Cutthroat. We go first, Ragavan, Kite Sail, let's go. Can't believe how much I enjoy that team. We're up against Domri, Anarch of Bolas. This is a, another annoying Planeswalker to have to figure out how to battle. See, hitting Planeswalkers with Ragavan isn't good because you don't, you know, you don't get your treasure. Hmm. Three mana. We'll just play the sword here after we hit with the Ragavan, probably. Let's see what we get. All right, sword. That is awesome. If that gets equipped, protection from their whole deck. Two mana. Don't you do it. Okay. They put on their robe and hat for nothing. On the play against Clement something something alchemy. And we got Ragavan with sticky fingers and a sword. So, you know, we roll. Uh, white green, I guess. Big creatures. Hopefully we can just blast our way through. Monkey! Monkey, monkey, monkey. Me and my monkey. Tapped land. <laughs> what? You can't play that against Ragavan. Do you know not of my fame? Have you not heard of me? Paradise Druid, lovely card. Um, I think that this is gonna give all the cards in their hand a perpetual bonus, so I just play this now. Nah, it could come in handy. Eh, 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 eh. Yep, so all their stuff gets a perpetual plus one plus one. Zippy zap. Boink. Value, value, value. Crystal, crystalline giant? Why not? That looks fun. 
Let's get some counters. I could play the light up the stage there, but let's just save the treasure for more explosive turns in the future. Lodi Cobra. After playing your land? Sus. Could have been killed by Spikefield Cave. Strict misplay. Let's go with the fingers. A little death touch action. Opponent's trying to block. They have something to, that they should read. It's called menace. It hit. Treasure, treasure. Great horn. Oh, baby, let's go. I will mutate this where? Hold on. Let's uh, crack for green. This is just too cool. Casting mutate. Let's go here instead of on the Ragavan. Yes, instead of on the Ragavan. I think this being hexproof is awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Show them what's up. Now we can still play Chandra and kill this. I guess that's better than Frostbite and stupider. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I, I'm even better than that. Plus the Chandra Frostbite, the thing, light up the stage. Did you have fun? I, I feel like I still have so much work to do. I can't answer the question. <laughs> Is Ragavan the dumbest thing to ever happen to Historic Brawl? Most of you will say alchemy, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Playing this Ragavan right now feels really dumb. Being on the draw might be hard. Oh no, they've got the turn one elf! We're screwed. It's over. We've met our match. At last. Commanda? Agent. Okay. I didn't want to have to zap this, but I don't think we have a choice. But this, this is a huge treasure. We need this treasure. Here's Empath, out of there. No fetching Crater Hoof with that. You shut that nonsense down. Provisioner, making stuff and things. What else you got? You're gonna need more than one blocker, I can promise you that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. How to play it. How to play it. Um, I think we just offer the Ragavan trade and kill something else. This goes down to what? One, which means they can kill it with the other elf. This also goes to one, but we can play Chandra, we can plus it and then kill the Provisioner. So let's offer the trade. Because we're going to have to burn down the house eventually. They take it? Maniac. Maniac spotted. Do we burn the house now? No way. Chandra. You got this, girl. Make a little red. Cast a little braid. Take out this provisioner. Slow him down a, just a bit. I think we're playing the control game in this one. Elves be scary. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What? A world of monsters? No. This is my paradise. Vivian? Is okay. You will regret this. Interesting. Very interesting. So this also hits Planeswalkers, yeah? And this is at four. And what? This is a three. So if we shoot this with the cloth, we're just burning all of our own planeswalkers. What I have to do is this, right? We're done here. Let them have we Vivian for another turn and then burn down the house, but just try to pile up some Ragavan value while we do it. Man, we are not hitting though, are we? Not the way I wanna. All right, if they attack the cloth, six, Goes down to three. They probably won't attack it for this much. Let's assume they just attack it with a servant. Six goes back down to four, then back up, then back down. All right. Um, could also just overload them with planeswalkers. Yeah, it's pretty good. It won't be good for the burn down the house, but we'll see.
if we overload their like desire and what they can attack maybe we can create a good situation for ourselves where they have to overextend and this burn down gets even more than we expected oh they're coming the elves are coming oh my gosh did i say overextended yes i did let's see what they do Koth. Chandra, perfect. Okay. We'll lose the Chandra, but we won't lose the Koth. We also have a perpetual boon to pick up when we cast Ragavan again. Here's Frey Frey. I will not shy away Seeking some elf. Is it a castable elf? No. Oh, the sword. That's pro green. We have the high ground. You know it, buddy. We have the high ground. All right. Dash it. Boon it. Hit it. Bop it? No, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Let's play this instead of the sword. I have more elves than you. The sword can be hit by a reclamation sage if we just leave it sitting on the battlefield. And you know it's in their deck. It has to be. Druid, that gets some land. They're going to try to rebuild. A lot get Gilder? Gilder? I don't know. Mountain. Never miss a land drop. Dash. Sword. Quip. Face. And go in for your commander. We got hits. Opponent goes to six, mill him, make a wolf. A oh, beauty! This is so good. Look at that. Get milled, elves. Bloodline Pretender. They could have played a Crater Hoof there. We're still at 25, so we couldn't die to it. But we do have to keep an eye out. If they rebuild enough to kill me with a Crater Hoof, we're in trouble. They keep seeking. To many of my kids. They got a colorless elf over there, so we kill it. All right, eight. Mirrodin, lend me your flame. Dash. Quip it up. Squeam. Go face. Rawr! Your elves don't scare me. Bow to the monkey. Hell yeah. <laughs> One monkey and a sword, baby. We are up against the Shieldred on the play. Burning Hand's not looking great, but we'll see. Oh, we're not on the play. We're on the draw. That's some, that's some craziness. We've got something. No, that's me holding priority. No, that's them. Feels like a bluff, doesn't it? I think I'll just say go, bolt whatever they play, and then dash Ragavan. Just to be sure, just to be sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we got a sword with protection from black and it's an artifact deck. So I think we just pass here and play the sword next turn. Like I say, it's an artifact deck, what I, was trying to get out of my mouth is that my opponent has a problem with artifacts. Gilded Lotus. Okay. Jeez. Like, black usually can't remove them at all. Fable Passage in Mono Black. Sure. Why not? Well, they have a lot of mana. Let's see what they do with it. 
Compass. Yeah. Sure. There's a land. So we know if we, like, try to play the monkey, I'm pretty sure they'll just kill it. So we gotta draw out the removal on other things, I think. Or we can just let the monkey take take some damage. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tough. Tough spot. Tough spot. Like, how do we handle their removal? Do we just try to let Ragavan take the damage? They have six mana open, and they're going to keep using this compass, and eventually they're going to flip it. Also, if they we have a creature sitting, they're going to play Shieldred and make us sacrifice it. That's something. Hmm. I mean, doing nothing isn't much of an option. But we can. We can say go. It's not the end of the world. Try to bore them. Try to bore them. Maybe we'll draw a little better. Give ourselves some time. Figure this out. Eradicator Valkyrie. Flying lifelink. Protection from planeswalkers. Sure. And a Mind Stone. Okay. Three mana open. Two mana up. Probably one removal spell. I don't want to save the bolt, to be honest. But nah, just take the one for one. This is going to be a tough game, so you're just going to have to deal with me thinking. Trying to break through against mono black, especially when they have removal in their command zone, is very difficult. Pretty good draw. If they use removal on this. This providing one ones can not be very helpful against Shieldred. Mm. And just equipping the sword isn't good enough because they'll just untap cast shelter and we lose whatever creature. All right. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go for the den. They let that happen. Kind of weird that they would let me make a 1-1. One -one. Unless they just don't have it, which is also a... It's possible. But we got something on the board. Yeah, this is sacrifice a non-token creature. Or planeswalker. Well, that little goblin can wear a sword. They're gonna draw two and make a food. They're gonna play a key. I mean, they have a ton of mana. But what are they gonna do with all that? This Shieldred's an interesting one, because transforming it requires eight cards in the graveyard. Sword fills the graveyard. But now we have something to try to equip this sword to that the Shieldred doesn't kill. So let's see if that resolves. Yeah, there's the removal spell. We found it. Do I want them to have a 2-3? It's fine. We finally got it. Now we can dash. Equip. Lap. Treasure, we get their arena. Um, don't really want, do I want, I mean, drawing another sword is nice. It's not really helping us here, but we also don't want to fill our graveyard because of the Shieldred. So we'll go done, we'll go bolt your face. Yep, they got their little 2-3. They can get around it. Do they have more removal? They haven't transformed their compass yet. They have a supplier. Okay, we can zap that. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're going to transform the compass. But it's tapped, right? Yeah, the transformed compass is a pain. But at least it's tapped this turn. They have a Mind Stone, and they have a food token that holds priority. Dash. 
quit. I hit a removal spell. Uh huh. That's fine. Are you a black creature or a colorless creature? I thought you were black. Black. Yeah, you're black. I'm not scared of you. In fact, now I can kill it <laughs> if I want to. Murderous Rider is probably worse for me, though. A lifelink. But let's see what we get. Um, I think I'm just going to bin these, actually. Don't think we're in a lot of danger yet. Let's uh, go zap here. And then we blast it. And then we end the turn. Yeah, you, you, you pitch that Mind Stone. You're at six. See if they can find a way back in this. They've got the Spires now, which is very good for them. They're going to Takanuma. What do they get? Taxi and Puppeteer. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Oh, so they can Blood Pact. Okay, they just don't want to die from it. Sure. We've got a bit of land open. Okay. 4-3. When this dies, return another target creature with mana value three or less from graveyard to battlefield. Ew. Well, they've only got... Well, they have Trespasser. That's really good. So I'd rather get around it. And we have sticky fingers, but they have spires. Tough call. Very tough. Very tough. Unbelievably tough. All right. Zap. See what the blast reveals. A smashing, a land, and a fable. So the boon is for one. I'm gonna get the trespasser. What do they eat? They should go for the enthusiasm. They go for the creature. Okay. They just want the life. Okay. How do we get the sword through? Don't know if we necessarily do. So maybe we just play Fable. Try to get this thing going. Cool. They've got so much mana. If they find something to really do with it, I'm in trouble. Muta Vault. The thing that's keeping me in this is they don't have a ton of card advantage. They've had some draw twos. All right, Shieldred misses because this is a token. And that's what they've got, maybe. Oh, the other Sheltrit. I guess that's okay. Jesus. It's messed up is what that is. Uh, That doesn't seem good for me. Still gonna do it. Um, Don't think these are helpful. If I had put a pause down, I could have uh, burned out this Sheldred here and not lost this life. So we'll see how much that punishes me. Let's try, see if we can get to combat. Uh, we can definitely get there, but then we'll see if they use the Spires. At least we get the treasure. Should try to hit land, I think. Dire Fleet Daredevil. It's down there. What you got there? Dark Ritual, Painful Bond, Blood Pact. So some card draw, no removal, oddly, for a black deck. I 
All right, let's go zap. Seven cards in my graveyard. Noted. Crap. We want this transformed though, because it can't target this. If they transform it, there's still two turns before they get their rise from the Dark Realms. But then how do I win? Ah, eh, still, I gotta do this. I don't think I have a choice. I can't believe there's no way down here to remove something. Their chapter one is a removal spell that they still can't use because we're protected. The rope, the rope. Yep, get your four. Has menace. We go to 12. Oh, and I'm probably excited to try this out, this whole scriptures thing. But if this is transformed, then maybe they can't deal with fable. Okay. Destroy up to one target. Nope, doesn't work. Two turns and then they rise from the Dark Realms all over us. Let's draw. My god, this one Spires of Arazka is absolutely devastating me. Sort of body in mind. Still can't hit them. What's this do? Two damage. Each creature, planeswalker, and battle. Not good. Not good at all. Could try to save this for whatever their next hits are going to be. How do I get through? How do I get through? They can still power up the hive too, which I can't do much about. Could give a sword to Ragavan and try to trade it with something. I don't think that's particularly good. Two cards in hand. Tough game, tough game. Right now, this is just a treasure. They have something else coming in. They have to deal with it. All right. Uh, let's go dash. Get a little boon. Let's see if we can equip. Sap vitality in response. Three damage to target. Choose a hand creature plus one. Okay. That's fine. Don't remove the effects. Because it wasn't perpetual. Just getting my treasure. As I continue to get it shut down by the spires. And now what? Daredevil, because we're about to lose it. Go with the Sap Vitality? Or do we need to draw? Do we need to draw? We're at 12? If all these creatures come back, we're going to lose, but I don't know what we can hit that would actually solve my problems. Maybe next turn we can use the Dire Fleet Daredevil copied by reflection and have a chance. All right, big turn coming. Let's see what happens. I don't think I can kill him. It seems like I'm asking too much. And they have a wrath. That's what they got with the key. I concede. You have beaten the monkey. Congratulations. Ah! That was definitely the toughest game I've had. And we are back for a quick post game wrap and uh, yeah. Yeah, 14 and one. This is fine. I'm sure this is absolutely fine. That's just on my first draft. 
Wow. Uh, enjoy him while he lasts. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. And just a friendly public service announcement reminder, they don't refund wild cards when they ban cards in Historic Brawl. You're cool. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.